Hi friends, hi students. This is KD sir from KD Sivam channel once again with the Indian Evidence Act series. Aaj hum jo topic discuss karne wale hain wo hai admission. This admission topic is covered under section 17 to 23 of Indian Evidence Act. Right? This topic is very important because if agar admission agar koi accused ya to koi witness agar admission kar deta hai to almost pura case solve ho jata hai to let's see what is admission right and the types of admission and also who can make the admission and also the guidelines provided by the court right we will cover each and every topic for even llb as well as the competitive exams so let's start the word expression admission means voluntarily acknowledgement of the existence or truth of a particular fact. But under Evidence Act, admission is defined in a narrower sense. It deals with admission by statement only by oral, written or contained in an electronic form. Right? Now, normally, if we look at admission, yes, I have done it, yes, I have done it, yes, I have done it, yes, I have done it. You just say yes, it's like simple yes, yes, no, whatever you acceptance, right? But if you see under Evidence Act, the admission is defined in a very narrow sense, right? That is, deals with the admission by statement either in oral form or in a written statement or any document wise, right? Just me kuch likha ho, jo accept kiya jaye. और वो भी गेजेटेड होना चाहिए राइट right? ऐसे ही कोई लिखा हुआ नहीं होना चाहिए और वो उसमें एक्सपर्ट का सर्टिफिकेट मिलना चाहिए कि यस इन्होंने ही लिखा है तो दैट शुड बिकम दैट बिकम्स एन एविडेंस राइट एंड थर्ड वर्ड इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक फॉर्म नाउ द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इरा हैज कम सो फ्रॉम 2000 द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक फॉर्म हैज आल्सो बीन एक्सेप्टेड वेदर इट इज इन ईमेल वीडियो फोटोग्राफ और व्हाटएवर राइट सो ये भी अभी एक्सेप्ट किया जाता है तो लेट्स गो एड Definition. An admission is a statement, oral or documentary or contained in an electronic form which suggests an inference to any fact in issue or relevant fact which is made by any of the person and under the circumstances year in after mentioned as. Right? Now, section 17 to 23, just like I covers Indian Evidence Act deals with this admission part. Now, according to section 17 of the Indian Evidence Act, admission plays a very vital or pivotal role in judicial proceedings because if one party to a suit or any other proceedings proves that the other party has admitted his case, the work of the court becomes easier. Right? Suppose A कहता है कि B ने मेरे घर पे चोरी की और B कहता है कि मैंने घर पे चोरी नहीं की। Right? Now बात जब केस चल रहा है था तब कोई बातों बातों में B कह देता है कि मैं उस वक्त उनके घर गया था। बरोबर। Now see this becomes an oral admission. He was present there. Right? So this the denial part becomes irrelevant okay so if this is called admission so plays a very important role in solving the cases next example a person is sued for the recovery of loan and there is an entry in his account books recording the fact of the loan that is an admission on part of his liability or if he makes any statement to the effect that he does owe the money that will also an admission being direct acknowledgement of the liability it will dispense that the necessity of any further proof of the fact of the loan right up a person is sued for the recovery of loan loan ke liye usko court mein leke aaya gaya और वो बोल रहा है कि हमने लोन लिया ही नहीं लेकिन ये पता चला कि उसका जो पासबुक है अकाउंट बुक है उसमें क्लियरली ईएमआई और व्हाट एवर अमाउंट इज रिलेटेड टू लोन इज देयर तो ये एक बन गया एडमिशन और दूसरी बात अगर उन लोग की बातों में या कोई भी में वो एडमिट करते हैं तो दैट बिकम्स एन एक्नॉलेजमेंट इस तरह वो एडमिशन इनके सामने अगेंस्ट में प्रूफ बन जाता है राइट नेक्स्ट काइंड्स ऑफ एडमिशन और टाइप्स ऑफ एडमिशन वन formal or judicial admission informal and casual admission and admission by conduct okay now let's see one by one formal or judicial admission 
formal or judicial admission are those admissions that are made by a party during the proceedings of the case, right? During the proceedings of the case, either judge or magistrate ke saamne jab koi banda ke, koi insaan ke statement deta hai, that is called formal or judicial admission. The statement given by a party to a case in front of the magistrate during the proceedings falls under the category of formal or judicial. Ye bahut easy hai, okay? Next, informal and casual admission. Right. Admission, those are informal in nature. Informal matlab, usne bayan kai aur diya hai. Example le lete hai. Do not appear on the records of the case are referred as informal or casual admission. For example, le lo, an accused of murder. Right. Kisi pe jam tha murder ka. Now, sustained injuries and during his treatment, he told the reason of injury to the doctor. Now, the said explanation was regarded as an admission. राइट और डॉक्टर के पास वो एक्सेप्ट कर लेता है कि ये कैसे उसे लगा था और ये बन जाता है एडमिशन और वो उसके लिए अगेंस्ट में आ जाएगा राइट एडमिशन बाय कंडक्ट एडमिशन दो आर मेड बाय कंडक्ट ऑफ ए पर्सन आर सेड टू बी एडमिशन बाय कंडक्ट फॉर एग्जांपल इफ ए पर्सन ड्यूरिंग द इनफॉर्मल इंटरोगेशन उसे खाली बुलाया गया था just an informal interrogation ke liye, lekin wo dar ke maare bhaag gaya, right, by the police and ran away from the place. This conduct of that person is said to be admission by the conduct. I hope you are getting students, right. To, agar aap samaj jao ge, to apne aap lik sakte ho, right, easy hai, to just listen properly, right. Now, it is not however necessary that to be an admission, a statement should go as far as that. It will be sufficient if the statement admits a fact which suggests an inference, right, as to his liability. Illustration le lete hain. A is charged with causing death of B by poisoning and he admits to have purchased poison, right. A pe ilzaam tha ke usne B ko mara hai poison deke. Lekin wo pehle accept nahi karta hai. Lekin wahi A accept kar leta ke wo poison deke. कहीं से लेके आया था दिस बिकम्स एन एडमिशन नाउ अनदर थिंग ही हैज टू प्रूव अनलेस एंड अंटिल ही प्रूव दैट दिस पॉइजन ही बॉट वाज फॉर सम अदर पर्पस तो उनका इनोसेंस जो है वो प्रूव करना पड़ेगा सो दिस सच स्टेटमेंट सजेस्ट दैट ए इज गिल्टी ऑफ द मर्डर अनलेस एंड अंटिल ही कैन प्रूव दैट ही नीडेड द पॉइजन फॉर सम इनोसेंट पर्पस नाउ द इंफ्रेंस मस्ट बी क्लियर एंड अनएम्बिगुअस The Supreme Court in case of Chikkam Koteswara Rao versus C. Subba Rao has given some guidance in respect of the clarity and unambiguity of the inference. Admission by different persons. Now, admission by different persons, kon kon admission de sakta hai? Section 18 mein cover hai. To let's see. Section 18. Admission by party to proceeding or his agent. Statements made by a party to the proceeding or by an agent to any such party whom the court regards under the circumstances of the case as expressly or impliedly authorized by him to make them are admissions, right? So, ye sari log, jo bhi statement dete, they are considered as admissions, right? Once again, see, statement made by a party to the proceeding or by an agent to any such party whom the court regards under the circumstances of the case as expressly or impliedly authorized by him to make them our admission by suitor in representative character. Statements made by parties to the suits suing or sued in a representative character are not admission unless they were made while the party making them held the character. Statements made by first a party interested in subject matter, persons who have an proprietary or pecuniary interest in the subject matter of the proceeding and who make the statement in the character of persons so interested. Once again, persons who have any proprietary or pecuniary interest, jisko us case mein interest hai, usko faida hai, wo us mein directly involved hai, right? So that statement made by is admitted as admission now another than person from whom interest is derived the so person from whom the parties to the suit have derived their interest in subject matter of the suit are also known as admission if they are made during the continuance of the interest of the persons making the statement now 
ओरल एडमिशन ओरल एडमिशन आपको सिंपल मीनिंग ही है जो बयान देते हैं जो अपने वाक्य बोलते हैं राइट right? या तो मैजिस्ट्रेट के सामने या तो इनफॉर्मल वे दे आर कॉल्ड ओरल एडमिशन राइट ना वो ओरल एडमिशन डॉक्यूमेंट्री फॉर्म में भी आ जाता है या इलेक्ट्रॉनिक फॉर्म में भी तो वेर द एडमिशन इज ओवरऑल द पर्सन हर्ड द एडमिशन वर्ड्स अटर्ड मे सिंपली टेस्टिफाई एज टू वॉट ही हर्ड द एक्यूज से राइट नाउ ऑल्सो एडमिशन इज हाईली डिजायरेबल टू बी रिटर्न और रिकॉर्डेड इन द लैंग्वेज यूज बाय द एक्यूज unless the translated version is evidenced that it is an accurate translation okay that has to be verified now let's see guidelines by the court or the provisions made by the court before the right of the party can be taken to be defeated on the basis of an alleged admission by him the implication of the statement made by him must be clear and conclusive this we need to see to it there should not be any doubt or ambiguity it will be necessary to read all of his statement to gather the madras high court has stated in a case that admissions at best only suggest inferences the court must examine the statement inside out and before holding a party to his statement must see that the statement is unequivocal and comprehensive it must go the to the whole hog as it were on the point at issue barabar ye jo hai ye statement jo dete hain admit karte hain whatever suppose ek example jaise bataya hai right kisi ne agar apna thumb impression ya signature kiya jaise aap hum log karte hain koi bank wala hai koi agent aaya barabar ye hamara फॉर्मल uh, है ये हमारा प्रोसीजर है इस तरह का साइन ले लेते हैं देन अगर वही चीज अगर वो हमारे अगेंस्ट में यूज करता है तो एट दैट टाइम इट इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेड बिकॉज इट कैन नॉट बी टेकन मैर एविडेंस और एडमिशन जैसा है ये एक्सेप्ट किया नहीं जाता है तो द मैर एडमिशन बाय पर्सन दैट पुट इज थम और थम इंप्रेशन और सिग्नेचर अपॉन अ पीस ऑफ पेपर विदाउट नोइंग इट्स नेचर एंड कंटेंट्स इट्स नॉट एडमिशेबल बाय हिम दैट ही एग्जीक्यूटेड द डॉक्यूमेंट्स रीजंस फॉर द एडमिसिबिलिटी ऑफ एडमिशन व्हाट आर द रीजंस नाउ फर्स्ट इज एडमिशन एज अ वेवर ऑफ प्रूफ राइट एडमिशन आ जाता है तो प्रूफ अपने आप ढूंढने की जरूरत नहीं है इट इटसेल्फ बिकम्स अ प्रूफ द फर्स्ट इज दैट इफ अ पार्टी हैज एडमिटेड अ फैक्ट it dispenses with the necessity of proving that the fact against him it operates as waiver of proof to a certain extent this principle has been expressly adopted by section 58 of the indian evidence act 1872 the section says that no fact need to be proved in any proceeding with the parties that to or their agents agree to admit at the hearing or which before the hearing they agree to admit by any writing under their hands or which by any rule of pleading in force at the time they are deemed to have admitted by their pleadings right so this is the first case next is admission as statement against interest the second suggested reason of relevancy of admission is that an admission being a statement against the interest of the maker should be supposed to be true am i right बिकॉज देखो अगर कोई भी आज एडमिशन कर रहा है कोई भी आज कुछ एडमिट करता है तो उसे पता है कि इसका रिजल्ट क्या होगा क्योंकि तो वो अपने आप को हार्म करने वाला है उसके अगेंस्ट में जजमेंट जा सकता है क्योंकि उसने एडमिट किया राइट right? सपोज कोई किसी ने बता दिया ये हाँ सर मैंने किया है ये चोरी मैंने किया ये खून मैंने किया दैट इट सेल्फ बिकम्स अ प्रूफ अगेंस्ट हिम राइट सो the should be supposed to be true as it is highly doubtful dubious that a person will voluntarily make any false statement against his own interest but this is not the only reason for the relevancy of admission as section 70 does not require that the statement must be self harming it only requires that the statement should suggest some inference as to fact in issue or the relevant fact it does not matter even if the statement is in favor of the declarant as self harming statement has more like in self harming statement has more relevancy over self serving 99% jyada tar jo statement hote hai wo self harming hote hai right so however the exception to prove the self serving statement is given under section 21 of indian evidence act but sometimes a person's whole self serving statement becomes adverse to his own interest and be, may be proved against him as an admission so in the words of the supreme court 
an assertion in one's own interest may not be an evidence but a statement adverse to his own interest will be an evidence indeed so that will become evidence indeed next admission as evidence of contradictory contradictory statements another reason that partly accounts for the relevancy of admission is that there is a contradiction between party statements and his case this kind of contradiction disgrace his case example a sues b for the wrongful possession of the land but the land paper shows that c the father of a has given b the right to reside at that land right so ye proof ho jata hai so this statement in the land paper is an admission on his part as it contradicts his case against b but this is only partly true for the principle is the party can prove all the opponent statement about the facts of the case and it is not necessary that they should be inconsistent with the case next is admission as evidence of truth the last and most important and widely accepted reason that accounts the relevancy of admission is that whatever statement a party makes about the fact of the case whether they be for an for or against of his interest should be relevant as representation or reflecting the truth as against him in the case law slatterly versus pokoli park b observed that whatever a party says in evidence against himself what a party admits to be true may be presumed to be so conclusion so evidence is the most integral and indispensable element of an proceedings either criminal or civil and shall be safeguarded from any kind of manhandling or else it might turn inadmissible in the court thus evidence shall be relevant and shall also satisfy all the specified provisions of admissibility then only it can be admissible in the court of law so as of present situation even the electronic or digital records are admissible just a minute ago the electronic and digital records are also admissible as evidence as they are reliable relevant and obtained from an authentic source of electronic communication right. so students i hope you got it we have covered the admission part right and now we will see into the next topic in the next video right so please do not forget to subscribe our channel keep on sharing our video so that it reaches to the all needy people right so have a nice day bye let's meet in the next video